Here's McCollum. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. Here's Freak. He's got 12. Inside, Harden. It's tipped. And can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got had, so he'll head to the free throw line. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Houston. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. Plumley he's checked in for John Lewis. A reason or what? He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Terrific game from McCollum. He has 12 points. He's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. And he can't hit the second. Houston leading by five. The pass to Ariza. Spiked it away. Crab kicks to Lillard. And it's sent back by Howard. Here's Ariza. Can't get it to go. Now Portland takes it the other way. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Pass to McCollum. Plumley with a screen on Hart. McCollum. Oh, that's blocked. They retain possession. Here's Freak. 12 points for him. Pass to Howard. Unloads from nine. Hits some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. And the Rockets lead by seven. There's the dish to McCollum. Back to Lillard. Plumley with the screen. Passes it to McCollum. No good from outside. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Here's Smooth to the inside. Harden has a wide open look. Releases from the wing and drills it. And it's a nine-point rocket lead. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now that's how to finish the break. Throwdown with force. And unfortunately, we've seen a few Jeez. too many of those. A lack of concentration and alertness, a turnover, and an easy bucket the other way in transition. And really a few more of those in this game could be over. We've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. But those turnovers could have been avoided. Careless mistakes. Absolutely. They have got to get a tighter handle on the ball. Houston making a switch. Cabela's checked in. Fellas, he just is struggling to get anything going. Right now, his shooting percentage in the quarter, 20%. Crab kicks to McCullough. Down low. Aminu misses. Now that's what we call good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is, and maybe even more than that. I mean, you saw it right there. Without his presence, that's an easy basket. Out of bounds, Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. Houston making two changes. Trevor Booker comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's Chalmers in for James Harden. Portland also making some changes. Calderon comes in for McCollum. And it's Larkin in for Lillard. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. Yeah, that's a super defensive play. If that gets through, no doubt they score. And that's why he sold out for it, because he knew he had to make that play. He wasn't going to let them get the event. Freak dishes to Ariza. And they're pushing it up. Poked away. To the middle. Here's Calderon. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Over in the corner, Chalmers. Sinks the three-pointer. Chalmers has got five. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Now, here's Amina. He's got eight, and that one's good. And how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tater tate going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now here's Calderon. Five points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Crab. Rebounded by Capella. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the score has a lot to do with that. Their overall effort and execution has been elite. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync, tremendous communication and awareness. They are absolutely stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook perfect. Good balance, nice high release, splash. Smooth passes to Booker. Here's Capella, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal. And we've reached halftime in this one. Houston on top, up by 12. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, James, an impressive first half for you. What allowed you to come out so strong? Uh, just uh, trying to be aggressive, trying to trying to get out early and uh, give a little spark to my teammates. Um, you know, and, and they followed along. So, you know, it's just a matter of us not turning the ball over and getting stops. You're not a bad guy to follow, James. Thank you so much. Over to you guys. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started. Listen up, guys. Way to come out strong in the first half. Taking care of business. TCB. Passing has been outstanding. You guys are playing smart team basketball. We've got to continue to share the ball exactly as we have been. I did like the scoring punch we got off the bench. That heated things up. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys. But, you know, anything can happen. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. You just love it when the decision-making is as good as it was there in that first half. Didn't force anything. Guys, I think here in the second half, though, they may want him to be a little more assertive. Start hunting more for his shot, even the tough one. Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Beasley out there with Howard. And it's smooth in at the one spot. That's the five for Houston right now. He dishes it to Ariza. And it's Howard finishing it off. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. Freak kicks to Beasley. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Beasley's got six points. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break really gave him a second round. And stolen by Freak. Throws down the breakaway jam. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. To the left side wing. And here's McCullum for three. Here's Plumley, And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's on Dwight Howard. The Trailblazers have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. Good. Howard's got seven points. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. And stolen by Freak. Here's Harden, makes it off the glass. And the Rockets lead by 17. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint, but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggression. And it's slammed in by Plumlee. 
Nothing John. fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. I like the simplicity. Well, there's also style just with the fact that he's able to have that kind of a finish, though. Still, I like that pretty one-handed flush. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Terry Stotts gave to his team during that last break. He used the word patience several times in describing what he'd like to see from their offense. It's not a run-and-gun approach he wants from them. Clearly, some adjustments there had to be made because the time left for a comeback is quickly running out. Kevin, over to you. And thanks for that story, Doris. Freak dishes to Beasley. Here's Ariza. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> and there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one, the way they've handled their business here. Six to shoot, and it's McCollum in the corner. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. McCollum's got 16. Well, I like the way he orchestrated in tight that time, fellas. Here's Howard. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Walking with legends here, guys. Uh, look at some outstanding seasons, decades apart, averaging a triple-double in each game over the course of an entire NBA season. Oscar Robertson's 1961-62 season was something to marvel at. And now in our current era, a special player making his own mark on the NBA with the tremendous play he's been showing us all season long. And that's still one of the most hallowed achievements in NBA history. I mean, we're, we're talking about the big O averaging a triple-double over the course of an entire season. I mean, to think we have another player with a shot to do that, it, it really speaks to the one-of-a-kind season he's having. This is the stuff of legends. Now here's McCollum, guarded by Hart. Tries it from the top of the key. Can't hit. Good D by Howard. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And he gets it to go. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Lillard attacking and he gets that one to go off the front iron. Yes, sir. Lillard's got four Alan points this quarter. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Here's Smooth, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And, guys, how fun is it watching this fella just go to work? Greg, right, it's not every point guard who can climb the ladder like he can. Not at all. Well, I tell you, I think his body control and concentration in the air are really unique. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Trailblazers trail by 20. Cullen passes to Lillard. Hits it from three-point range. Lillard's got nine. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And stolen by Lillard. Here's McCollum, and stolen by Ariza. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And a wide-open look for Freak. It's good, the assist that time from Harden. Harden's got five assists tonight. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Rockets. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. You know, adding on to that, if you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Dishes to Beasley. He kicks to Freak. Aminu over to help. Shoots. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. That's tipped. And a 